Like many mining communities in the U.S., Butte has seen better days. At its peak, more than a quarter of the world's copper was produced here. But the mines now sit idle and the populations steeply declined. This is going to be logos and movies, yeah? Yeah. But when filmmaker Don Andrews moved here a year ago, mm -hmm. he saw a unique opportunity in a city ready to embrace Butte's first film festival. Since the inception of the Covalite Festival, he and his team have received wide support and hopes are high. We have a lot of really good films from all over, but we also have a lot of really good films from Montana. Um, and I really want people to walk out and be like, you know, those guys in Montana, they know how to make movies. We want to go there. US Department of Immigration. Filmmakers from all over the world have entered close to 100 movies. And for those who've spent time at other festivals, there is cautious optimism. I think it could happen. It might take a, a few years to really get going. But I think if they get good programming and uh, they can attract people, they get enough publicity, then it should really snowball. This is our Park Street suite. We have two of them. Uh, this, this has a queen bed and a king bed. Ted Ackerman has just refurbished the historic Miners Hotel and hopes that the film festival will be a boost for his business and the entire city. Right now we're full, which is nice for the next four days, but you know, the other thing is just having new people in town, hopefully we'll see those people coming back or bringing friends back and uh, it'll just be a continuous thing for us, I hope. Organizers also plan to build Butte's first film studio and make this city an alternative a much cheaper place to make and study film. For a first time film festival, Covalite's already achieved what it's taken other venues years to do. And in large part that's because this entire close-knit community has got behind their efforts. And that ultimately may be what helps put this city and its festival on the map. Organisers here say they have a 10-year plan for the Covalite Festival. It's an ambitious goal for a small city in an isolated state, but one they hope pays off. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Butte, Montana.